And here we have your Galaga board. It's back up and running. So I ended up replacing the unencapsulated resistor packs like we had talked about. So the red ones are the new ones there. That one looks like one of your old ones, but it's not. That's a new one too. Uh, those two are also new. Two right there. Right there. A few more on this board, I believe. That one, that one, that one. The rest of them had already been changed, or they were already encapsulated at factory. These blue ones here were factory installs. And then all the single wipe sockets got replaced. So that was all of these. Um, a few others got replaced as well. And then on the video board, so this only, that was the only unencapsulated resistor pack from factory. The rest of them got changed. That one, this one here, here, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Oh, I'm sorry, that one was already replaced, Never mind. And then uh, all these, all the sockets, the large sockets on this side. So these sockets here and these sockets here all got replaced. After all that was replaced, the game booted but had a RAM failure. Uh, that RAM just needed to be reseated. And as you can see, it's working. So it's got the fast shot uh, ROM in it now. If you want that change, let me know. It'll It'll set the uh, player's shot speed back to normal. This version is easier, in my opinion, because you can pretty much just, you know, shoot your way through the rounds pretty quickly. So just let me know if you want that change. There won't be any charge for that. It's just one of the ROMs on the main board. Don't recall which one it is. It's one of these here. Okay, there you go.